What if one in the family is growing spiritually and the other one is not, and does not accept this? I believe you are being given the opportunity to gain a certain experience. And it is not related to integrating Kriya Yoga into your family. It is what's called awakening compassion for that person. Compassion is an element of unconditional love. If you are karmically connected to that person, you cannot leave them. Like they say, don't change horses in midstream. It's a rough comparison, but still. As a wiser person, as a man, and a man is more creative, which also does not mean that a woman does not have creative abilities, as the leader of this family project, you are able to find a method of creating conditions for development at her level of consciousness. While maintaining and multiplying your own spirituality. That doesn't mean she has to do Kriya Yoga either. Maybe she wants to sew, maybe she just wants to walk, enjoy nature. There are different forms of that. You are a spiritual being. But what is spirituality? It is the creation of good environment. If she wants to develop in her own direction, let her do so. But you also find time for your own development. Your task is to be responsible for what you have already taken upon yourself. This might be difficult. Do you know why? Well, not hard, really, but not easy, either. For you are considering it from the perspective of a person who still wants to achieve. This is a proper desire, as you understand that it will help her. But she has her own choices to make. She wants to study or live exactly like that at the moment. Therefore, if you want to have it, give it up. Just leave her be and create conditions for her. If she wants to live like this, let her live. Let her fulfill her dharma as a wife, and you fulfill yours as a husband. It is enough. However, your spiritual practice, your transformation will still affect her, whether she wants it or not. Because your energy is much stronger than hers. You are a man, you are the leader, you are in charge of the family. So let yourself bear with it all for a while and don't cling to the relationship. Don't cling to the result you've set up for yourself. That is, if you force, push, there will be opposition. Your attitude has changed now too, haven't you noticed that? Your aura has changed. Why? The heart center has started to work. If you love someone, you forgive them everything. Lower the mental plane into the heart and communicate with this person through the heart. Who cares what he does? If you love them, give them a chance. They will come to you after a while. What's more, this person might even lecture you. Anything is possible. Breaking up is the easiest and most incorrect thing to do. There's no point in that. You'll just have to replace one with another. And it's all the same with the other person. Having not resolved here, you will fall into the same trap the second time around. 